these stats, all these anything, all these predictions, I, I have no idea how everything got that crazy today. And obviously, it's all scripted. OG versus Fnatic in the finals. But um, <laughs> let's... Calling it already. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> let's break it down. Five game series. We have a lot to read off. Obviously, like you always say, there's part underperforming in Team A and overperforming in Team B. But what was greater? Was it... H2K not showing up. I think the, the key factor here is we highlighted coming in H2K's weakness in team fighting. Origin clearly looked at the same thing in their prep and said, hey, look, H2K don't seem to team fight, pick the right fights particularly well. And whether sometimes it was circumstantial of H2K being out of position or Origin finding fights with some of these comps, with the game two comp, with the Maokai, certainly Origin just was like, okay, well, we're just going to fight you. And if we can fight you until we get a lead, we can build off this and eventually take the series. I think uh, also the team, Origin, they made some very good adaptations in terms of pick and bans because H2K had that very beautiful game three where it's like basically a stomp, almost a perfect game. After they took away, you know, or they made sure we don't pick the Cassidy now so we lose the early game in terms of wave clear, they took Lulu and Orianna. Suddenly they ran scaling compositions but with actual wave clear so they could stop the pushes happening from uh, from from Origin, sorry, from H2K, and at the same time, they also got lane swaps two games in a row. So they didn't get pressured in the standard lanes, which was the problem looking back at game three. And suddenly the games were a little bit slower. You know, Origin had time to get one or two items completed. They went Rod of Aegis, you know, for Orianna here in this game. And they have the Gragas jungle, who's not the greatest jungler in this current meta, but when he gets to his late game part, he's a fantastic team fighter, and that's, that's why they can win these team fights. Yeah, I think they played good team fights together. They know when to engage. We saw it in the first game. Source insta TPs when he sees the, um, the opportunity going over to this game where they play around the power spikes, Orianna being able to push in and uh, yeah, playing beautifully together the team fights as well with shielding the ADC, speeding everybody up. So I think that OG just played to their strengths and yeah, I think H2K also showed a little bit of a weakness in this case. Sorry, it's just um, I was thinking back to the beginning of the split. We were discussing this on the desk as well. If before the split you would have given a prediction of a possible winner, you would have said OG was yeah. the best form. Fnatic had changed up. If you hadn't looked at the split and you looked at this game, they are an actual contender to win the whole thing. Obviously, they're in the finals, but... If Fnatic, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not ready to would. say anything. I mean, the key thing here is when you look at across the entire split, is you're right. At the beginning, we were like, Origin, probably the top team, least changes, just plug in one player in. And then we got halfway through the split, and it's like Fnatic and Origin are halfway in the standings. H2K look great. G2 look great. Unicorns look great. Vitality look great. All way better than Origin and mm. Fnatic. But whatever it is, the improvements they made in a very short space of time, when it counts, has been a lot better. I mean, Origin, you know, picking and choosing uh, perhaps better compositions and playing around Power of Evil a little bit better than they had been previously is part of it. But certainly they chose the right time in the split to peak with that practice. <laughs> I mean, I guess you couldn't really wait coming no. into players. It's True. like, now you have to peak, and that's it. I, I find it kind of scary, in a way, that two teams can struggle throughout the split, and other teams who would be tryharding from the start, you know, trying to improve all the time, in the end, didn't even get good enough. So once we got to playoffs, these, like a team like Origin, could just step up, like a guy like Source, and, hey. and amazing, they suddenly look much better. Quoting the interview we did with Prowley, week one, week two, or week three, hey, you guys are in the same position as you were last year. You're tactically ahead of the curve. How are you going to make it work? He said, well, I have the individual talent to rise above and go further than we did. They are possible third place again. That's got to crawl in your mind. For Forgiven as well, the fact that he doesn't get to play that final now, it's... There's just so many things going on here. I honestly think the biggest question is what exactly is consistency in, in actually League of Legends? Like we see so many teams performing really well and then struggle in the end. We see it uh, in different tournaments as well. I think that the mental state, uh, you know, calls a lot for that. Mm -hmm. And honestly, in OG's case, I, I'm just really, really surprised. I didn't see them coming out ahead and now they have this really strong showing. So. Yeah, I'm just very excited for tomorrow in this case. Yeah, me too. Crazy, crazy day today. We got to move on because the people over in NA, they want to see their semifinal as well. But here in today's semifinal, Sven put on his carry pants to bring Origin to the Spring Championships. KDA of nine, half of his team's kills, and an 80% kill participation across five games. He's our series MVP. Um, Obviously, a lot of people played uh, well, but it was Sven after that game one, maybe. He absolutely stepped up. They relied on him also with the Lulu comp, so all praise uh, deserved there. Yeah, a lot of praise deserved. You know, maybe not every game was the tip top, but certainly performing very well in game four with the comp build. I honestly it. think it's hard to choose an MVP here for Origin. I think they all played together as a team, and that's, you know, what you want to see in the end. So yeah. Sven just, like, 
the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. I, I just want to give a shout out to Amazing. Yeah. Uh, coming into this again, we didn't really know what to expect in this meta. with a lot of the carry junglers. He showed both carry junglers with Kindred. He didn't show out the Kragas as well. Strong team fights from him. Really stepped up big time, and that's so important for Origin because they had some struggling members on the top side of the map. Also, the tanks for Soas, they just fit in this meta right now, and they can perform. And that makes it easier for a guy like Sven to then stand out in team fights and then become the MVP. I feel also for H2K, I didn't expect them to be like. Uh, they kind of seem dead at points where they just let OG do yeah. what they wanted to do. Like they let the Lulu scale, they let Doriana control everything, and they play the LeBlanc and want to play aggressive. And I didn't see the fire, you know. And Origin seemed there way more ahead, yeah, so I think that's the point. A lot to think about for H2K, but it's done. It's on the books, and with their win today, Origin claims the first spot in the Spring Finals. I did not think I was going to say that today. Leaving H2K to compete for third place in Rotterdam once again. The final seeding is the same as the rest of the playoffs. Whoever entered the bracket as a higher seed gets the choice, or side choice, rather, in games one, three, and five. Not thinking about that yet, but touching on tomorrow's semifinal. Fnatic versus G2. We said before today, that's going to be a lot closer than today. Well, five games is pretty close uh, already, so... We're probably going to go five games again. Yeah. Honestly, I give think us th more. <laughs> those two teams are so, so even. I want to give a slight advantage to Fnatic, but that's, again, judging from the play they showed against Vitality. I think they had fantastic shot calling in there. I actually saw some very, very good and consistent macro play from this team. And also, again, I think this meta is just spot on for Fnatic, but we can almost say the same for G2. Yeah. Tank tops, you know, carry jungles for these Koreans. It's going to be so, so even, and Perks is going to kill me now for saying this. <laughs> well, I also have to maybe put a little bit on Perks' shoulders as well. We just saw Ryu ineffective on carry champions in the last two games on the LeBlanc. If the same thing happens again, that could go Fnatic's way. We just saw an example. But I have to say that Fnatic needs to be careful because the first game they picked like Ezreal, Alistair, Kessler didn't go full scale. <laughs> yeah, we don't want but that. They, yeah, we don't want to see that. We want to see against G2 at least strong brawling as well. And I hope that Fnatic is not just playing the macro game mm. in this direction, but also play like individually strong. And that's the only way I can see them fail. Uh, I can't wait to see the tweets and everything coming out. We go well five games. You know, you can pick five either games. way. Five games. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be great. In any case, we will fill in the rest of our bracket tomorrow. Indeed, as the first seed G2 Esports takes to the stage finally and takes on the reigning European champions. Fnatic, as we just talked about, and then uh, whoever ends up losing will play in the third place match versus H2K. And then immediately following the action here in Berlin tomorrow, we will hand things off to Dash and the NA LCS team for their semi-final clash between Immortals and Team Solo Mid. Our matches here in Berlin will get underway at 5 p.m. Central European time, that is 8 a.m. Pacific, and we will see you there. For now, though, more League over in NA. Thank you so much, Sheepy, for joining us. Thank you very much. And, uh, well, you guys as well. But, yeah. you know, nah, whatever. <laughs> we'll be anyway, here. Uh, we'll see you guys back home back here tomorrow. And just keep watching because the semifinals are getting underway over in NA, and we'll be back here tomorrow for our side of things.